So I went for rugby, but I think I've ended up with Bumblebee. In this video, I am going to give you a warning. Stop setting yourselves targets or goals for the new year that I will guarantee you will fail at. My name's Inwills and welcome to the In Crowd. So I can't decide whether or not to just blog about things or to YouTube about things. I can't really decide. So for this post, I'm just going to do both because I really wanted to share this with you because as the new year starts, um, all as content creators are challenging ourselves and setting new targets and goals. And I have fallen into the trap before of really failing at these achievements and goals and this is not because of any hard work or lack of hard work that I've done it's because of the goals that I set myself so what I wanted to do in this video is share with you why I think I didn't get many of my goals and achievements that I've done in the past and in doing so hopefully help you set more achievable goals for 2020. Now, before I get into the nitty gritty of this post or this video, I just want to say that I am not big. OK, now I'm not one of those high flying bloggers who gets loads of hits on their site. I'm not one of those streamers who have got partnership or YouTubers who have millions of subscribers. I'm not a big content creator at all. I'm small, I'm still developing and I sometimes get rather annoyed with people who are big looking back and saying oh don't don't take any notice of the numbers and I think they, they must have taken notice of the numbers at one point to actually get where they are today but b despite that I do not think that we should set ourselves targets that actually relate to the numbers. And a lot of people watching this video might have said, thank goodness the penny has eventually dropped for him. But I want to share with you, and that is true, that is true. Okay then, it's not about the numbers. Um, and I don't think you should be setting yourselves goals such as I want to become affiliated, I want to become partnership, I want to get 500 viewers, I want to get this, I want to get this because in those situations the actual target is not down to you. It's down to other people and I do not think it's beneficial for us and I put myself into this as well, to set ourselves targets that rely on other people. So what I'm saying here is, you know, if we set ourselves targets to be partnered or affiliated or to get a thousand subs, then what we're doing is that we're setting ourselves a goal or a target that we can work extremely hard on and persevere with, but there is not this correlation between hard work and achieving these goals. I could stream as much as I want and do some great content and still not get to partnership. And I think this is when we are getting goals and achievements confused with dreams. Now, I don't want to fall into the trap of saying what you shouldn't do and not sharing you what I think we should do. So first things first, we are doing this because we enjoy it, okay? And lots of people will say to us, oh, don't worry about numbers, don't do it because you're enjoying it. Yes, we are doing it and enjoying it. That's why we are out there. If we didn't enjoy it, then we wouldn't actually be doing it. And numbers are important. I'm not saying that they're not. I'm saying they are important, but we have no control over it. Sometimes we might do certain things 
that might actually lead to those higher numbers and that's absolutely fine and that's what we need to um, concentrate on sometimes it's literally in the lap of the gods it depends who hosts you who sees you who sees your tweet etc etc and you know there are fantastic streamers out there that I watch day in day out and I am totally utterly bemused why they are not partnered so what I should I don't want you to set targets or I'm not going to set targets that say things like um, I'm going to enjoy myself because I think that is a given if we weren't enjoying ourselves we would not be doing this okay and that's the first thing so what can we set ourselves goals or achievements with well what we should be doing is looking as developing as a person developing our content developing how we communicate and share that content and that would be a much better goal to actually start the original tweet that came out with um, stream elements some people said um, as the reply to what they're going to be doing is to become more consistent brilliant really good target you're in charge of it you do it but don't just say i'm going to be more consistent how okay are you going to be streaming three times a week are you going to do a new game every month are you going to make sure that you stream three different games a month this is this is sort of like the fine detail that you need to focus on it also allows you to get to the end of the year and think yeah i've done that so don't be i'm going to use a phrase airy fairy about it be very smart and very exact about what you're going to do so other things that you could do and i'm just throwing these out there but hopefully it'll give you an imp an idea of how to change those goals what about updating your emotes okay what about thinking about a new concept for your stream what about streaming new games are you going to stream a new game every month are you going to increase your knowledge of games and don't say i'm going to increase my knowledge of games what are you specifically going to do and that might be an overall target with um, bullet points underneath so it might be that you're going to write a blog post or create a video about gear progression or you're going to do a blog post about dungeon mechanics and don't sit there thinking oh everybody's done this already it's not for everybody else it's for you and therefore you can get to the end and think yeah i've achieved that maybe it's a new streaming overlay maybe it's new transitions maybe you're going to design new merchandise maybe you're going to blog more often but whatever you're going to do make it so you have ownership over it you are in charge of it your own hard work and perseverance and commitment to those targets sorry the spat there will actually help you get there now i've said it earlier on in doing this it might lead to increased numbers or lead to increased subs but it might not it might not and the important thing is yes we want to get those bigger numbers yes we want to achieve um, partnership etc etc i'm not saying that we don't want to do that what i'm saying to you is that please do not set yourself that target i've done it in the past and you get to the end of the year thinking that you've put in a huge amount of hard work perseverance and commitment and you're not there and that can be demoralizing set yourselves targets that you can achieve that you through your own hard work commitment and perseverance can actually get there because at the end of the year or the end of the month or however you set them then you will get that positivity back saying yes because of what i've done i have achieved that and as a side point yes it might increase our numbers or it might not but in my opinion the most important thing is to get that positivity back so that's all i've really got to say and hopefully it doesn't come across as a bit of a rant or some know-it-all talking to you but you know set your targets your goals that reflect your own hard work commitment and perseverance 
and don't set yourself targets that rely on other people for you to achieve if you've liked or enjoyed this video please consider liking commenting and subscribing um, and please remember that if you would like to give a little bit of extra support if you know what i mean then the link to my patreon account is down below have a wonderful 2020 i'll be with you throughout the year coming back over and over again so let's have fun together and let power through and achieve those realistic goals and achievements that are based on our own hard work catch you later see ya bye